Hello and welcome back to Ash of Gods. It's time to save my my wife. She's about to get killed. <clears throat> oh, she's dead. <laughs> that was fast. You run into the house and find the living room covered in blood. Old Tenor, your housekeeper, stands at the door, trembling all over. His daughter, Quina, your maid, lies in motionless lies motionless on the floor. Just beside her is your wife, Leaky. Well, that's probably a better fate than whatever embarrassing present we <coughs> picked out. Licky, how could this happen? Glenda, Glenda, be strong. Mommy, please, please no. Many years ago, you ventured into the Vale at the edge of the world. That day, death looked you in the eye. Today, it clenches its bony fingers around your heart. You're petrified. Glenda weeps into Licky's black hair, the same hair you fell madly in love with a lifetime ago. Gleda, it's just the two of us now. Get a hold of yourself. I won't manage without you. Okay. <clears throat> I kind of like that. She, so she needs to. So she's not gonna be protected, but it's gonna be like a, a partnership, mutual. Like, we need to help each other. Also, that death metal guy is just coming to get us. Such a calamity has befallen us! Oh, such grief! First, both Leaky and Quina screamed in pain. Then, my daughter seemed to lose her mind. She went at Mistress Leaky with a knife. Mistress defended herself, but then... Whoa, 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 whoa. Really? Glada, give me a hand. W with what? Take a blanket from the bed and cover Queena's body. Hmm. I will, and in a moment. <laughs> oh, the horror! The horror! His Excellency Count Vikti and his young son Bran always said it would end this way. What the hell? They were clearly no fun. There are some people who just say, like, a lot of uh, bad stuff will happen, and when it actually happens, it's like, Oh, I told you so! How about now? Yeah, the con said many things. Dad, this is not the time for old grudges. The monster said it would start with our family. We must leave this town. Finally. Hey. You're right, Glada. Pack whatever we need for the journey, quickly. Tanner, saddle the horses. Yes, I'll do it. You move a strand of your wife's hair and notice something odd. A black blue mark, like an ulcer on the nape of her neck. The surrounding skin is swollen, as if burnt. Glada also notices it and backs away. A look of terror on her suddenly pale face. This is right out of an ancient manuscript. The same thing happened 700 years ago. A pain pierces your neck and grows into a, a fiery nose, noose. It, it strangles you and uh, you die in a terrible agony. This infection is, is what they called the reaping dad. The back of my neck is burning. No, 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 no. Let me see. Damn it. You have the same mark. Have a look. Do I have it? Nothing. But how can it be? Why did the plague spare me? I don't believe in luck. There must be some kind of protection. But what is it? You're jumping to assumptions, but sure. <laughs> the manuscript is about reaping. I, I, I read mentioned special stones. The strikes like the one in your pendant. Maybe that's why the monster in the square took interest in it. You take off your captain's insignia and put it around your daughter's neck. She nods and you pull her into your embrace again. Well, it's just a stupid necklace, but if that makes you feel any better. 
You exit into the front yard and take a look around. No, you shouldn't bury Licky here. It would be better to do it in the back. Gleda follows you. Take Tanner and bring the bodies here, you tell her. Try to be quick. Our time is short. Just wrap them in something, alright? When you're done digging, your hands are shaking but not with tiredness. Tanner buries his face in his hands. Gleda is a shadow of her former self. You realize that if you stop and stand still, pain will drown you. You get out of your freshly dug grave and pick up Leaky's body. You lay out Quina's body beside her mistress. They used to play together as kids. You take up a shovel. Uh, Gladys is still petrified. Tenor mumbles uh, one of the temple anthems. You wonder what he's asking the gods to do for his daughter. Aren't his woes all the same to her now? You throw the last handful of earth onto the grave and toss the shovel aside. You feel as if you are on the edge of a cliff. Your wife is no more. What's up with the banging? Her body is... Come on! Who's banging the door? Her body is not in your warm embrace, but in the cold clutches of death. For some reason, you're still alive. Gleda walks up and hugs you, pulling you back from the precipice. Just like when you met the Reaper. Alright, where to next? Gladys is packing for the journey. Tanner is taking his time. It would be a good idea to check on him. I'm gonna check on my daughter. That's a lot. <clears throat> well, losing my wife. That's, that's huge. But, I need to be strong. I suppose having others that you have to take care of helps a lot. I suppose you can also consider yourself as one of the others you have to take care of. That could help as well. Gleda loads up her horse, weeping all over the tack. <clears throat> wow. Oh, ma'am! Oh, god damn it. Oh, mommy, dear. How are we going to live without you? She whispers. You put your arms around your daughter as she presses her tear-stricken face into your chest. It's over, Licky. It's over for Licky, my dear. But for you, and Nacht, it's not. Remember this, however much it hurts. Gleda nods and tries to steal herself. No longer crying, she starts strapping the saddlebags. It's not over you for you either, Dad. No matter what you think, I'm almost ready. I only need to strap this package of Rask scrolls. Maybe I'll have a chance to return them. It pains uh, you to look at your daughter, whose every gesture reminds you of your wife. You clench your teeth and carry on. There's no time to lose. I'm not gonna f f throw away the scroll. I don't know, it would be dumb to get killed because we are just screwing around with the scroll. But also, we gotta need supplies. And the scrolls might help us, maybe? Who knows? At least that's what I'm led to believe. So let's do it. Glada buries her face uh, in your shoulder. Thank you, mom is dad. You gotta run for, from the reaping, and I'm still fussing with this package. It's okay. <clears throat> you enter the house and see that Tanner has packed your things, but is not in a rush to leave. What's keeping you, Tanner? Tanner makes a helpless gesture. Forgive me, Master Brannon, but I'm not coming. I must remain by my daughter's side. I will look after the house for as long as I live. <laughs> You're an excellent servant. Oh, ask him whether he hopes to survive. I don't think he's uh, thinking about that too much, but he's kind of ready to die. I guess... He's in the mindset that what comes, comes, so... That would be a pretty dark. I don't know, that doesn't feel like a very nice praise at this point, like... I don't know, I don't know what to say, there's nothing to say. Sometimes there's just nothing to say. 
Ask about ask him about his intentions. Okay, I'm just gonna say that you're an excellent servant. Right. Because I guess you can take pride in that. Tanner's expression softens. You've been a model husband for Mr. Shriekly. Mr. Sleeky, no matter what her father, Count Victi, said. Thanks! Uh, <clears throat> um, I got a compliment for you for being my servant, and now you gave me a compliment for being a husband. Uh, great. Alright, get the hell out of this place. Someone is yelling and knocking at the gate with brute force. Oh, I thought that was leave. It's, it's Captain! Captain Krieger! He's got Fisk, the guard from the Northern Gate, as as well as four lads from his regiment with him. What do we do? Let him in before he destroys the gate. Gotta shut the stable doors for now, just in case. Who the hell are you? Krieger. <clears throat> Damnation! Quickly, bring in the horses! Thorn, this is... Is, is your old servant completely deaf? I bashed my knuckles while knocking on your bloody gate. Don't you know what's going on in the town? Pipe down, I do know. Tanner has just lost his daughter. Understand? Understood? And I've just lost my wife. Curse this damn town. Leaky? No fucking way. I'm sorry, pal. Real sorry. Damn me if I hurt my your feelings. Or, or something. <laughs> You die like a dog. Don't worry about it. We all will at this rate. What happened to you? <laughs> when the monster entered town, everyone went berserk. Have you seen the sign it left on the gate? What do we know? I want to ask uh, the burgomaster, but didn't think I could make it through. Besides, I had the boys with me. Hey there, you pansies. Come on here. Oh, you all right? Huh. <laughs> Looks like you didn't even shit your pants. Take care of the horses while we figure something out. Okay. Who are these guys? Krieger and his boys? One of the soldiers leans against the shed, his legs seemingly unable to support him. Brett, logging about? <laughs> Just coming to my senses, thinking what, what to do. Come on, what's up with the grunts? What can you do against the Reaper? <laughs> it came after me. You, you see, it knows where I'm hiding and it will find me again. It came after all of us, Knucklehead. Do you think you're special or something? If God forbid it comes back, you'll be for all of our heads. It will be all for our heads. Thorn, we need to leave. Now. We can't run and hide. Death is in the air. Loyalty decrease breath? Wait, what? How? I just said that the... Well, I suppose I kind of scared him with the Reaper. Listen to me, boy. Don't ever let your fear wag your tongue for you. Curb it. If you want to die, do it. Just don't drag others into it. Torn! You're such a jerk! <laughs> the young soldiers from the Albius regiment are tending to the horses. I guess we don't have a lot of soldiers here. <clears throat> hey, sup! Quit trailing hood like a puppy. Go tighten the straps on your horse. <laughs> oh, you remembered. Get this nanny away from me. At this rate, he'll soon be holding my member while I take a leak. Let him look after Gleda. Why not? But hold, aren't we buddies? Don't you see what's happening in Obvious? Don't drag Gleda into this. I worry about you. Huh? Go on. Right out of here. I need you like I need a hole in my head. If you wanna look after me, do it from far away. Looking at Hood as he storms away. <clears throat> That's what distress does to man. You look as stiff as a deck 
in a bathhouse, sup? Don't worry, he'll cool off and you'll be best buddies again. Torn, what else did you want to ask the lad? Hmm. Will you shit your pants? I mean, I, I just might. My knees are shaking. I, I don't like this one bed, but I'd rather have war. You ha rather have a war? Whoa, 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 what the hell? War doesn't keep them waiting. You'll find that your knees shake less when you're marching. Let's go and see what happens. Then point us in the right direction. All I hear is talk. You're superior, aren't you? Why does Sour look? Why are you looking at the gate? Why does Sour look? <laughs> Should I sing and dance? There's no fort. We must move to Ursus. Its walls are higher, and the Jernan army is nearby. The king himself is there. And more food! All you care about is stuffing your face? If the entire Jernan army loses its marbles like the obvious guards, Orsus will be good for nothing. Well, I mean, the madness hasn't afflicted us, so there must be someone sane in Ursus. Let them deal with this craziness. Why are you looking at the gate? Well, I mean, it's really nice, dirty gate. We could just stay here and wait for this mess to clear up. Let's not... Fort Shit Creek. <sighs> we are already knee high in it, sup. What do you think the gate's gonna stop? The monster? Or maybe the plague? Plague? What's next? Crawling under a blanket? Will it help? I want to do the right thing. What if those madmen come to their senses? Then it's all hunky dory. Alright, that's enough. Look at Sop rambling. Usually he's too busy chewing. He's probably thought we'll be hiding in a tavern. If you could hide from this nastiness in the tavern, it would be. I would. If I could hide uh, from this nastiness in the tavern, I would be there already! Krieger, do something. We didn't join Torn Brennan's company by accident, did we? I mean, no disrespect, Captain. Respect my decisions then. First, we need to get out of town and ride to the nearest man here to get rid of the plague. We'll see where we go from there. Loyalty Grease with Sop. La, look at that. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Figure out the pen. Okay, we need to. Get the hell out of here. Forget about trouble, Krieger. The Burgomaster is dead. <clears throat> We're sailing up Shit Creek. What do we do now? Watch the shit stains and run. Check the backs of everyone next. The plague uh, leaves the disti uh, distinctly mark. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we figured that out already. None of my lads have marks. I personally checked. The townsfolk have been clutching their necks in pain, though. <clears throat> so many guys! The gods have spared us from this plight. Without them, we'll be squirming on the ground. We should be grateful. Oh, what? Wow, that's a very easy loyalty increase. You invoke the gods, but they have nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with? Confound them. Well, we got strikes to help us. What do you have, Fisk? What do you mean? I have a spear and my armor. Though I admit, they aren't uh, the best. I wonder whether you're just drunk. Come on, man. That's so mean. Perhaps I'm not making myself clear. A bit slow on the uptake, aren't you? I'll say it again, slowly. Strikes protect you from the plague. Krieger and I have our captain's insignia with strikes. These lads have earrings with flecks of the stone. Where's your strix? Showing you a piece of jewelry. I've got a small one in this uh, pin. It used to be my brother's. I I've kept it in her memory, but I, I don't wear it. So she protects you, even after her death. Pray to your dead mother, Fisk, rather than uh, to the gods. Okay. You said something about going berserk, Krieger? Don't do that. 
Well, you see, the monster just etched a sign onto the gate and vanished. Then the bell started ringing and it all went topsy-turvy. The people got to their feet and began to beat the living daylights out of each other. Some skewed that olds, others took up arms, some folks just used bare hands. Me and Fisk ran for it, but that didn't go well. Even the guys we knew were lunging at us uh, like furious beasts. We wanted to avoid killing them, of course, but the way things were, we fought our way to the stables and found these lads. I see. It's starting to make sense. The plague leaves a mark, which makes you go berserk, but it doesn't always work. Perhaps some possess the inner strength to resist it, or maybe strikes have uh, got something to do with it. The mark... Mark's not a death sentence then, if you resist it. Things are looking up, boys. Something to drink to. <laughs> What's the sign on the gate? Okay, let's just, let's just go with that. How should I know? I was standing guard by the northern gate by, with Fisk. Made the gods punish him with sobriety. Suddenly, a monster appeared. I heard this. Uh, I heard of this creature. Temple records refer uh, to them as the Reapers, for they come during the reaping. They don't always look like monsters. Sometimes they appear almost human. They call themselves the Umbra. But there is only a passing uh, mention of them in the chronicles. I haven't the foggiest idea of what that was, and frankly, I don't give a crap. I just know what I saw. It was scary. You shit your pants. Many did, in fact. All of them. <laughs> fell to the ground, at least. The monster drew some kind of mark on the gate and let us uh, out of a... Let, let out a screech. The Reaper said that the gate was sealed and that everyone should prepare to die. It said so in the temple tongue. And then in... Fr Frisian? Will you shut up, Visers? You've been going on and on. What are you planning to do? Talk your foes to death with, on the battlefield, you snotty brat? <laughs> Have I given anyone a reason to call me a coward? Us flit. Okay, let's just tell it to the guys. Did they not teach you to raise a hand when you want to argue with your superiors? Hush means shut up. <laughs> I'm no coward. I don't care if you're a coward or not. Step aside and go don't get on my nerves. I ask for advice when I need it. If you're st if you're still alive, that that is. It's time to get out of town. Saddle the horses. <laughs> I managed to piss off everybody except the guy who likes to. Oh, Krieger, loyalty priest, whatever. Damn, I almost forgot. The people didn't go mad immediately after the monster left its sign on the gate. First, the merchant rode through the square in a flying gallop. Gallop. It's a miracle he didn't uh, trample anyone. He pulled the control lever, slid something between the leaves, opened them up, and off he went. All by himself. And here I thought he was a, a good for nothing. Was surely you know him. Short beard, always smiling, shop near the town hall. A good drinking buddy, if you ask me. Rask, so he managed to get out of town? Is the gate still open then? No, the people were going berserk already. Some of the guards went after this Rask fellow, by the way. Then the gate slammed shut, as nobody held it open. So it's possible to open the gate after all. Gather everyone, Krieger, and let's go. We need to get out of town. Tenor? Sure you don't want to change your mind? I'm too old to change my mind, master. May the gods grant you a smooth road. Farewell. Yeah, that probably makes more sense. Like... The road is not for old men. Tenry is pro probably making the smart choice. As you wish. <laughs> Everyone follow me and Krieger. Tenor, open the gate. I'm so bossy. You stop in the square near the gate, dismount and peek around the corner. The ground before the gate is littered with corpses. Beside them, guards shuffle about, scratching their necks and growling uh, now and then. They have weapons at the ready. 
The incessant ringing of the bell makes you squirm as you examine the gate. There is some kind of glowing mark on it. The square is full of abandoned carts, baskets and crates and corpses. There is no way you can ride through on horseback. Your company waits for your decision. Turning to face the rest. Do you realize what's going on? Why are these madmen so organized? Shall we try to break through? Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Why did the monster seal the gate? I think they just want us uh, all dead. And those reapers are like children. Very cruel children. Pitting people against each other just to see what's gonna happen. Like playthings. It's what father said. Is your father's temple servant by any chance? A royal scribe. But I didn't want to be a scribe. I, I wanted to be a warrior, so I ran away from the capital. Consider your wish fulfilled. I hoped it had lost its glamour. It will soon, in any case. <sighs> Why are these guys so organized? But are they? <clears throat> Could it be that they serve the Reaper now and are bound by its will? Ancient manuscripts don't mention anything about that. However, they do say that each reaping is different. The, the reaper could have invented something new. Rask had mentioned something like this too. However, they do say that each reaping is... Well, okay, wow. Okay, that's the same thing. Sometimes you just don't know. It's the same line. <clears throat> Wait, what? You discuss reaping with Rask? Sometimes. You, you don't know history if you don't know the reapings. They direct its course, even if they only happen twice. Who knew it could come back? In the absence of uh, other explanations, we'll have to go with this one. Shall we try to break through? I don't know, I read it. Okay, whatever. I don't wanna... seem clueless to these... Young man and women. My daughter. <laughs> but let's just ask that. I'm totally fine with asking you that, but like, who knows. Maybe it's easier to lead them if they think that I just know what to do all the time. What do you mean by break through? Are you out of your freaking mind, Torn? I know these guys. Every single one of them. See the rat head? You know him too. He was but a young lad when he came to me. About 15 years ago. He wanted to become a guard. And he did. Do you suggest we haul our horses over the wall instead? I know all the, these guys too. See the woman lying there by the barn? That's his mother. And who do you think hacked her down? They are not the people we knew, Krieger. Well, I'm not quite myself when I'm drunk either. Should I be killed then? How do you know this can be reversed? Do what you will, Captain, but I won't lead an attack on my own man. Can you see the dead bodies under their feet? Those are not our lads, too. Those are our lads, too. I'll screw you. I, I'll give the order. You're not thinking. Time for action. Krieger loves me. We can't attack their ranks directly, so we have to split up. Some of you... Uh, we'll join the fight, but others will have to get around the fight and reach the gate. Splitting up? That's just dumb. You are really crap at strategy, man. Why would we split? It's much better to stay together. Exactly. Krieger. What if these crazies get reinforcements while we are busy fighting? I don't care about winning. I just want to get out of this alive. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Re but uh, our main main uh, way to get out of town should be about not should be not fighting. How do we open the gate? It's sealed by the sign. If Rask managed it somehow, then so can we. On your guard, you there? Follow me. Do the rest. Uh, well, the rest to the gate. I have so many guys. So I, I guess I need to have six guys. And they can have items. 
Oh, loyalty actually makes them better. No injuries. Speed. Level 1 warrior. Fighter guard. Warrior assassin. Archer. Maybe if you want some archers, who knows? I don't know. I got some gold strikes. The morale is low. Sop actually likes me. No injuries. Nobody has injuries. Okay, Krieg. I don't know what assassin is. Is okay. Sop is so tanky. He is ridiculously tanky. We are all level one, but fifty-one combined stats. These are fifty-three. Is 104. These are all 60. Sop looks like a really good one. I'd rather not uh, um, babysit them way too much. Attack 7. 6. Fisk is a spearman. 12 damage. That looks good. Letta, Krieger, Sop looks okay. Okay, maybe just we're just gonna mix it up. These look exactly the same. Okay, we gotta put in Fisk. <clears throat> Whatever. No assassin though. Okay, let's let's fight. Can we just uh, reorder them? Yeah, I can. Fight. Hmm. Alright, I, I suppose this has got to be a big part of the game. Um, just... Just fighting. I didn't realize that it's gonna be like, so crazy. But now, I got like a proper fight in my hand. Not sure how we're gonna do it though. Do I just stay back? Do I just stay in the front? So this is the Spearman guy, this is the Archer, huh. Perhaps this is a good time to take a break, so thanks for watching guys and see you next time.